Tonight, the battle for your business is heating up at the grocery store. Well, today, Whole Foods began cutting back prices by an average of 20%. It is hoping to shed its image of being a high-end grocery store. And we sent 13 Action News anchor Carla Wade on a mission to find out if we could see the savings yet. We decided we wanted to compare prices at different grocery stores here in the Valley. And in order to do that, we're going to make something that everyone in our newsroom likes to eat, and that's guacamole. I'm going to start by Googling a recipe for guacamole. Now here's our shopping list. Of course, we need avocados, onion, tomatoes, garlic, limes, and sea salt. Our executive producer nicks the jalapenos, but the rest of the newsroom didn't want totally bland guac, so we improvised with bell peppers. And we also bought chips for our dip. We started our shopping at Sprouts, then hit up Whole Foods, which began slashing its prices Wednesday, especially on produce and with extra discounts for Amazon Prime members. And produce is where some Valley shoppers told us they really noticed the difference in store prices. I can get three bell peppers, at the 99 cent store for a dollar and I come in here and get one for 69 cents. For produce, it's the Mexican stores. Since Amazon bought Whole Foods in 2017, it struggled to attract customers to the store. A lot of people refer to as whole paycheck because of the prices. It's almost like a market share fight and the big one they're fighting with is Walmart. And what they're trying to do is, is have more people come to their Whole Foods stores. Our final stop was Smith's. We stuck with the regular produce and the store brands on the chips and salt. And now, here is the total bill for each store. Sprouts came in the cheapest at $10.83, followed by Smith's at $11.47. But Whole Foods still came in as the most expensive at 14 bucks. And the biggest differences were in the produce prices. Smith's avocados ended up being 41 cents more than Whole Foods, but the tomatoes and onions and peppers were more per pound at Whole Foods. And in most cases, Sprouts was cheaper than both. Overall, I, I'm, I'm still a Costco fan. <laughs> and some experts say the Whole Foods move could force Costco and the smaller chains to lower their prices to compete with each other, something that could make shopping for your next bowl of guacamole a lot more appetizing. Carla Wade, 13 Action News, Elevating Las Vegas.